Okay, it's your buddy Mike Messier, and I'm coming up on the end of uh, the last day, most likely, uh, of my Mike's Disney Adventures first season, 2020 to 2021. And uh, it's been kind of an informal, informal adventure, an informal playlist. I, I didn't try to do anything too fancy or sophisticated, just random clips, some videos from me being here. And, uh, but I thought I'd put a cap on it and just say, you know, one, one word that I, I don't use a whole lot in my life for whatever reason, I think it's just one of these trendy words that people use is grateful. And I don't put the little hand emojis together uh, to say thank you. But I will say, uh, I'm grateful and I'm thankful that uh, Disney was around and here in this year of strife and conflict and confusion and death and corruption and all the crap that we've been through, the mouse that runs the house was still here for me and here for those that were able to get here. And I know that for a lot of folks, uh, the situations they were in logistically, perhaps financially, geographically, would not allow them to come to Disney World. And I believe that Disneyland um, was closed much more than Disney World this year. And uh, I'm not a politician, I don't know politics, but I do know that Florida was more open for stuff than other places. So I'm happy that I was here. I felt pretty safe at Disney throughout the year, the times that I came, which were many times. Probably been to um, amusement parks more in this calendar year than any other year in my life. And uh, it's an escape, it's an escape, what can I say, you know, even, even during normal times. And amusement parks, a nice escape. This year it was, by me, kind of a necessary thing. Like I, I had to escape from the, the stress of society that uh, we were all going through together, but for me to remain balanced and, and equilibrium and enjoying my life, I had to escape from the, the reality of everything we saw on the news and YouTube and GIFs and Twitters and horrible things in the world. I had to come to a place where that was all uh, not gonna be in my mind. And you know, that's why I think the word people like that, escapism you know when you come to disney world at any other probably any amusement park you're more concerned about what ride can we get on how much time do we have how hot is it going to be i'm thirsty i'm hungry you kind of reverberate re to childhood when you're at the amusement park like getting an ice cream on the fourth of july and um you know it is what it is so i met some interesting people uh, through these adventures, I, I kind of spent a lot of time with myself here. Uh, bumped into an old friend at Epcot, and uh, we met another person of interest just this week, once again at Epcot. So there was a lot of good things that happened. Um, you know, was there any bad things? I, I don't think so. I mean, um, maybe the only thing that I would say would be a negative thing is uh, it does wipe out a lot of time. You know, if you're gonna to come to an amusement park, you're pretty much, it's pretty much taking up your whole day. Uh, some days I would go see a movie. I'd go to the amusement park and then I'd look forward to seeing a movie. Um, afterwards, that's gonna to happen tonight. I wanna to go see A Quiet Place too. So look for my Mike's Instant Movie Review. But uh, getting back to the original thought here, I am thankful that the parks remained open. The people that worked here, I don't know how much they're getting paid or, or if this is their final destination in life to work at the Disney parks. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but they were troopers. They had to, you know, while the, while the guests are, are trying to get a breath of fresh air every once in a while, these folks have to wear masks all day and it's hot sometimes. So I appreciate that. And we, we still don't know if there's gonna be any repercussions for all this mask wearing. I hope not, but I can't imagine it was healthy for people to wear these masks all the time. I'll just be quiet for a second. You know, what else can I say? Um, overall, I'm happy these parks were open, you know, and, and I got a good deal and I got in through the window. Once again, uh, my instincts
my instincts proved correct. You know, I had the instinct to move out of New England into a, a different place in the world before COVID hit. And I had the instinct, a friend of mine came down to visit me in Florida, literally days before COVID mania hit. And uh, we're talking late February, 2019. He wanted to go to Disney. I said, I'd go with him. I looked at the prices for a, a couple of days pass. And then I said, wait a minute, do they have some type of season pass, blah, blah, blah. And they did. So the point is, I was able to get that season pass as a resident. Uh, it kind of was the catalyst for me to actually get my driver license situation settled because that was kind of dragging on. So it forced my hand to get that covered. And here I am. And that same season pass that I first initiated February 29th, 2019, it's now May 27th. 2021 and this will be the last of my pass so they gave me bonus time because of the the situation with the world because they had to close the park for a few months and they threw me a few extra months on top of the months that I lost so point is I've milked this cow for all the milk I can get will I resubscribe most likely and I, I, I guess once again you know my videos are not gonna be for everybody if it's just a, a standardized family of four, the type of folks that come here, or sometimes you see families of five or six people. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Hi. Oh, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Sometimes you see the people, standardized families of six, seven, eight people. And, um, but if you're, if you're alone, it's, it's fun too. Uh, so I've had a good time. I hope you have had a good time with these adventures. Um, like I said, I do my own thing here. I don't feel like I've got to take on the world or go on every single ride at once or go on every single ride in the course of the day. If I feel like coming at 5 o'clock at night, I come at 5 o'clock at night. If I feel like coming at 6, I come at 6. And uh, I don't stress out about things. Try to have fun on your own terms. Uh, like I said in, in the pr prior video, uh, we don't know the state of the world, what's happening with it. We don't know uh, what's going to be going on tomorrow or the next day or 10 years from now. So you might as well squeeze the lemon of enjoyment as much as you can while you can. Make that lemonade. Mike Messier, thanks for watching.